on what lah? <laughs> Because 2021 doesn't look like a good year So after Chinese New Year, hopefully this year will be hang on what lah Yeah, yeah. 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 Cinema is mentioned I, When I think of I have to go out, travel, uh, jams and also like meeting people it Makes me feel a little bit stressed <laughs> so Every time when we usually go back for the holidays, it's usually around Chinese New Year So the best part would be at night Every house would have like a competition to see which of them would have the <laughs> biggest fireworks. Yeah. yeah. It's like you just feel like even though you're not celebrating it that much, you feel like you're part of it. Mm. They make you like like come come. Yeah. It's quite fun. Actually. As for me, what I like about Chinese New Year, of course, is gathering. Uh, it's time to eat and it's time to update status. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like about Chinese New Year is uh, busy, very very busy. I need to do the spring cleaning la, need to prepare all the uh, gift la. So Nancy, if your children is watching this, then you can like tell them through the camera and help, help. Uh, help <laughs> <laughs> so I I would better oh, I help ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think would be having a good reason to buy new clothes and do shopping without feeling guilty. Yeah, <laughs> and then I don't like about Chinese New Year is probably being asked about personal questions. <laughs> so you would come like, to visit me. <laughs> <laughs> so you should not ask me that question. <laughs> I know, I, I love CMY. I mean, that's, that's, that's the festive season uh, I love most. I think because of the uh, happiness, people surrounding us, no gathering, friends, relatives, so whatever. Nothing to dislike the box here, right? I like it. Wow. Because your wife is the one who do the housework. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh. Sorry, uh. Sorry, uh. I do the cooking, I do the cleaning, wow. I do everything. Wow. Best husband. Okay, what I like about CNY is um, that's the only time for me and my family to meet because all my family members are all around in Malaysia and Johor and KL and Ipoh, like we only meet up once a year, so we really appreciate that one time during Chinese New Year. Yeah, that, that feeling when you open the ang bao and you see under ringgit. <laughs> <laughs> the things I dislike, first one is the traffic jam, yeah. and then the second one is an unpopular opinion, I guess, because I see few people like fireworks, I don't like that because it's <laughs> pollution, a lot of pollution, sound pollution, air pollution. No, <laughs> fireworks is not, not working out for me. Uh, I like CMI because you can play, you can eat, you can travel. <laughs> In Chinese, it's called Then I dislike CMI because I need to go with my mom shopping and she's gonna buy this, 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 this <laughs> and I have her shopping bag. <laughs> 12 hours. 12 hours straight. Okay, no, I'll take me. I like your bag. Wow. Oh my god, yes. 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 Very fattening. Yeah. <laughs> but that is nice. Why you start on? Yeah, you stop yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's, it can only find during in Chinese, Chinese, Chinese New Year. Yeah. And it's, it's so very expensive chips, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the seaweed biscuit. I don't know. Oh, the gulong gulong one. Oh, yeah. uh, that one the which one? The gulong gulong one. Yeah, like the one like. Like the shoe one. The seaweed with the red oh, skin. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, okay. Overrated, unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always used to play then, oh, and then nobody can see. Yeah. yeah, this is my favorite uh, session. I, I only like that part. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Finish it. Yeah. Do you finish it? It's the, it's the, it's the process it's the that gives Actually, value. I like to eat though. since I was small really? until now. I'm so over it. Actually, I, I still enjoy like it though. also. I like it. I like the cracker, the crispy one. Yeah, that's the only sauce that's sweet. It's honey, yes, is it? It's yeah, yeah. It's uh, honey. So. I never eat honey. Uh. <laughs> Caramel. No, I also never like. I also never. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't eat. To me, I'm fine with anything, or any food. Uh, I think uh, the most important meaning of Chinese New Year is about gathering family, friends, relatives. You, know? you get to meet everyone. You are still surviving, living healthily, whatever. See, any food is fine. Uh, my answer, yes, sir. Uh, of course. I need, I need that seaweed biscuit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally, yes. <laughs> like prawn, 
讲笑哈哈 ，fish， 呃，年年有余。All the those dish got meaning one, so I feel yes. Treasure pot with abalones. Abalones. Back in Malacca, my uncle will host like a open house. So during the open house, what we serve is <laughs> rendang, roti jala, <laughs> nasi impi, oh. ketupat, oh. nasi lemak. Yeah, it's like a lion. Yeah, yeah, serious. No, the answer is no because I uh, used to teach in the international school. So, uh, actually, the this New Year is not only belong to Chinese. Yeah, and, and actually, it's also called Lunar New Year. So sometimes, uh, in, in the school when we uh, like try to do events, uh, we try to avoid the word Chinese New Year because uh, the Koreans they will, they will feel a bit offended. Why, why you Chinese New Year? We also celebrate. It's, it's not for Chinese. Uh. Yeah, so. I think, I think we, it's not necessary just Chinese food. The real meaning of giving or receiving a pao is like, a, like I said, it's a blessing. Uh, it's a blessing. So uh, you have to give before you get the return. Uh, maybe like Fred said, uh, probably the monetary wise, uh, you keep giving but you don't get anything back. Maybe you get something back but some other thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe not okay. now, maybe in the future, uh, you don't get it. Maybe yeah. your, your luck, your fortune, your yeah. health or your whatever. You know, so be, be a little bit kind and generous mm -hmm. about it. You know. But of course, to your own uh, limit. Uh, you know. yeah. uh, watch your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, last time uh, I, I used to help my mom pack. The, like, she, she puts out like 2,000 ringgit so that I can pack one by one 10 ringgit each. Uh, no, I think like 50 ringgit already. Just, she just she just asked me to help her pack the ang pao and then like I see 2,000 ringgit go to ang pao and then not mine also. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually feel like joyful giving out ang pao to my family. Like I'm given a chance to show my appreciation to what my uh, parents sacrifice. Uh. So I think it's kind of a happy process. Yeah. Because normally, like in a normal days, like they don't even yeah. take right. So yeah. like Chinese is the only time you can pay them. Yeah, then they they are actually willing to accept. Yeah, yeah. It's the time to update status. We <laughs> <laughs> so update status in the uh, IG, in Facebook, right? So this is the oldest type. Right. How to update status? And it's the first question to first consider a topic la, to start the conversation. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Personally, I think it's very annoying, but then it's okay for elderly to ask because it's the only similar topics that we can connect together. Yeah, so I think it's okay they ask. Keep no, continue uh, asking. I can connect with you anytime. Uh. Wow, <laughs> modern uncle. Uh. Yeah. I think we should undiet over CL1 because the CL1 is a Right. Yeah, you can still wear pretty clothes. I think, yeah, you have to be happy on the side, but it's because like the Chinese culture, yeah, you have to wear chong sam and chong sam tend to be really tight. And yeah, I put myself a challenge that I have to be in shape for a chong sam. Otherwise, it's going to be a challenge for me to take pictures with my cousins and stuff. You just have fun on CNY. Just eat as you want. And then after CNY, you eat less of yeah, mm. so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's just like like the the host prepare so many food. You don't eat like it's like, also like waste waste right. <laughs> so better eat. So the key is balance lah. Whether yeah, I mean you over eat now, then later on just eat less lah. Mm. Just because at the end of the day, what you want to achieve is a healthy mind, healthy body, yeah, uh, and to stay happy. So you eat more now, you won't die. You just eat less the next day. Yeah, it's hard to reject when your grandma offers you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. To me, I don't, don't really like like very crowded place or too many people. So it just few people that I'm close with, close friends, remember, close friends, and celebrate together in a small number. To me, it's like good enough. Um, I think my ideal of Chinese New Year would be the whole family would be able to travel out out of the hometown because like every year is the same thing same topic so it would be great if we could spend in some you know Bangkok or something as for me if my house got a maid that one is perfect <laughs> <laughs> my ideal CNY is 
I think a bit different uh, going for a picnic with your close friend and family yeah because I think like doing the same thing every year is kind of boring and also yeah meeting the uh, <laughs> same relatives yeah. but picnic is so hot and, yeah. like maybe you have to find a good place <laughs> yeah <laughs>可能前几年我会没有那么兴奋 I'm really glad that uh, you guys are making this happen and thanks for having me here because uh, this uh, interview to me is more like a social gathering. I think it's really important to have this kind of conversation because it creates more understanding. I think friends. I never actually thought of how non-Chinese think about Chinese New Year. Like, it's a very different perspective coming from different ages. Oh, I love this experience. And I sincerely want to thank the organizer, HMI, the production house, the team, friends and others. Because why? I'm 52. But today, with all the friends around here, I feel like I'm 25. During this kind of talk show interviews, everyone actually opens up and they speak truly and honestly. You know, you can actually know a person, a true personality. And I believe this will give a very honest opinions uh, in a lot of issues. And it definitely brings about very positive information to the public and anyone's listening to this.